All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I want to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are in the spirit whose labors we have entered into. As you can see, the lesson is titled Vex with Filthy Babylon, right? So, brothers, uh, you know, uh, with their sorrow journey in uh, Babylon, man, you know, brothers often get a. Uh, Often get, you know, vexed with the filthy conversation, you know, this place, man, you know, a conversation going into that Greek word, uh, anastrophe, which means, you know, your conduct, your behavior, right? Brothers are vexed with the, uh, with the, with the conduct here, the behavior is nothing but folly filled in America, right? Nothing but, nothing but wickedness and pleasing your own flesh and every willful and sinful desire, man, right? It's not about feeding the spirit or, or, or keeping the law, statutes and commandments. So, you know, of course, sometimes it vexes us, you know, especially with Esau being in charge, you know, not being not being a rightful ruler. Right. You know, searching out nothing but wickedness to further oppress people, man. Right. Seeking out different, you know, different legislative laws that, are, you know, further oppress us. You know, oh, yeah. So, you, you know, you, you, you know, you can't do this or you can't do that. And, and just uh, just to further, you know, just, just just tear you down and break you down, man. Right. But brothers got to continue to keep enduring. Right. Second, I'm going to just go ahead and read this, uh, you know, of course, we'll inspire, uh, inspire the lesson, you know, from the Holy Spirit, reading the scripture. Second Peter chapter two from verse seven, it says, and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So Yahweh desire we be of the elect. We're like lot, man. Right. You know, uh, uh, we're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked man you know we're we're, we're we're vexed with being here just 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 being around these people and just just hearing the shit that they talk about man it's nothing but folly man you know uh, oh yeah what's on the sports today jim you know i don't give a damn about what's on the sports man i don't give a damn about what's going on you know in kim kardashian's life or none of that shit man it, you know it'll vex you right but brothers you know we can't allow ourselves to be so vexed to the point where we go off the deep end you understand so we still got to keep that uh that level head and that's where wisdom comes in right because that wisdom knowledge and understanding it, you know it, it, it'll keep you stable man like it says in uh of course you know let me go ahead and get it uh in isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 right isaiah 33 and 6 it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times right and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure so the fear of the lord right is our treasure man you know and, and when we fear the lord Right. That's the beginning of wisdom. Right. And what does it say? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So that's what keeps us stable. Knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to bring an end to this place, about to bring a, a destruction to this place and place over one who is a, 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 a profitable ruler. Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, is being joint heirs, you know, the, the elect who's going to rule this place in righteousness. And, and, and when and when, you know, Yahweh, uh, Slaki Yahweh Shai is in power. Right. And, and, and when Israel is in power, right, what's going to happen is, you know, all the earth is going to rejoice, man. Everything is going to be rightful, like in its rightful place, man. You know, not not being vexed with, you know, uh, uh, just filthiness, man. You know, I'm talking with the bro another brother the other day and, you know, he couldn't even enjoy a snack, man. Because we come to find out, we found out, you know, the snack had uh, uh, some uh, some gelatin in it, you know, some 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 uh, uh, pork gelatin in it. And it's like, damn, man, to the point where even the most minute and, and, and minuscule things you can't even enjoy here, man. Right. But we understand what's going on. So let me go ahead and grab this. Daniel chapter seven. And verse twenty five. Go ahead and says, and he shall speak great words against the most high. Right. Talking about, you know, Babylon, America, Esau. Right. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time, and a times, and a dividing of time. So, for a certain period of time, you know, we're going to be under Esau's rulership, right? Because it's given unto him, you know, to um, go out and deceive the nations and, you know, be in power for a particular point in time, you know, until, you know, uh, our Lord, our Adawan, Yahweh Shai, comes back pulls him down and, 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 you know, and, and takes the, uh, takes the throne, man. Right. But at the end of the day, what's, what's happening right now, Esau is seeking to, to wear the, wear down the saints of the heavenly father. And who are the saints of the heavenly father, man? The elect, man. And Yahweh Rathazah, that be us, 
you know, brothers that are uh, diligently uh, and fervently pushing this truth and, 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 you know, being a partaker of this ministry, man, serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's seeking to wear us down through the, through the, through the, through the, uh, slack it, through the particular things that you're uh, going through, man. Like, we all, we all going through stuff. I'm going through things, right? In particular, brothers are going through things. That's the, that's a part of the battle, right? But you got to endure. You can't give up. You can't, you can't just, uh, 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 just tap out or, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you just can't like, just, 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 just allow yourself to be so consumed in your, 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 uh, oppression, right? Or, 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 or your, or your suffering to the point where it just, it just, it, it just makes you so, um, I'm trying to think of the words to say, but. Essentially, you, you just can't allow what you're going through to overcome you, man. Simple as that, right? That become like, you know, that, that becomes who you are. You know, you just that, you know, uh, always in a, a down, what was me spirit. You can't be that, right? So the point is, man, you know, because we have to keep hope that the Heavenly Father, he's going to deliver us out of that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so yeah, so but we understand what's going on, man. And understanding, you know, that's half the battle. We are, right, I get it. This is just Esau, you know, trying to wear me down. But I understand that, you know, uh Yahweh Yahweh Shai, they run everything, man. They run the show. So if he wills it, you know, everything is gonna be cool, right? But we gotta continue to uh, uh to keep fighting, man, and not give up or give in to it, right? Because it's gonna be all right. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No, uh, like I'm not going to read verse 4, but the point is, right? Verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. So what is that hardness, man? Like, just just, just, the, just the tribulations and the, and the, uh, the suffering that we got to go through, man. You know, sometimes that's hard. You know, and, and, and it gets rough sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. Like Satan will try to get in your mind and try to bug you out. Man, this happens to me, man. It happens to me. I remember I remember it was this one day like Satan was trying to bug me out, man. Like with some crazy weird thoughts about doctrine, like like about, about a different doctrine. And I had to fight it. When I tell you I had to fight it, like it got to the point where it was like, it, 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 like, you know, if I would have gave Vin any any moment, it would have broke me. I'd have bugged out. You understand? But, you know, I continued to pray. I continued to pray. I continued to pray. And I kept reading. You know, I was like, you know, I was just I was just doing what I had to do for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that was a test, man. And then once you prove to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that you can be faithful, you know, and, and that, you know, in that suffering, right? He's going to uplift you. All right. So I went into the word for, um, for uh harden right for hardness right it says to suffer evils hardship troubles to be afflicted right so we have to we have to suffer through these things these afflictions these evils these hardships these sufferings man it's going to it's going to be trouble man right but we understand what let me get this the book of romans chapter 8 and verse uh 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. But how do you get that glory? By going through that pain, man. By going through that trouble, right? Look at this. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 9, it says, If this city, right? If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So how are you going to receive the inheritance, Right? You know, being joint heirs with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you can't endure a little suffering. The Heavenly Father has to prove you, but take it on the chin. Don't give up, right? Understand that what? Everything in this place is a test, right? It's a test. It is a temporary pit stop before we get where we going, man. And what's that? The kingdom. So endure your hardness here, man. It's fucking tough, man. It's fucking tough. But you got you to keep pushing, Right, you can't give in to it. Right, let me get this. Micah chapter two verse ten. All right, this shows you right here. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. 
because it is polluted. This whole place is polluted. The blood, the blood of our of our people, you know, it, 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 it polluted the ground, right? The blood, the blood of our people pollutes this ground, man. Right? It's polluted here. The food is polluted, right? The air is polluted. The land is polluted. The people's minds are polluted here. To the point where you want no dealings with these people, man. It's literally just a high and a buy, man. You understand? But you understand that what this is a pit stop, man. This is a pit stop. But you gotta you gotta you gotta pack your stuff up and keep going, man. You can't give in. You can't, you can't, you can't stop. You can't, you can't uh like you know just succumb to succumb to you know Esau's uh uh you know wicked oppression schemes, man. Because that's what he wants. Right? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. So it's going to destroy you if you let it. Right? And how do you not let it? By by abiding in the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by continuing to fight. By continuing to pray fast and do the things that you have to do, man, to be strengthened, right? To con to, to continue to have faith, man. To, to it's like it to continue to build upon that faith because we understand that faith is a what is a gift, man. So if you got it, keep keep building upon it. Keep asking the heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai for more, right? We understand that, man. And and, and when you're going through these things, like oh, shoot, I should have. Where where is it at, man? Right, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, First Peter chapter four and verse twelve. It says, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happens to you. When these things that cause you to get all, you know, uh, uh, you know, jacked up, you know, and 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 feel like, damn, man, fuck, right? Those things are a test, yo. And you gotta understand that, right? Let me get this." And, and, and the only way you're going to perceive that, you know, uh, these things that are happening to you are tests is if what? First Corinthians chapter two and verse 14, it says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh for their uh, foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So if you're you don't want to be as a natural man as Esau, Esau, he's a natural man. He's carnal, right? He can't search out anything spiritual. Like we can being spiritual men, right? Spiritual women, right? So we understand when things happen to us, it's for a spiritual reason, for the building of us up, man, of our most holy faith. And you have to look at it as such. And sometimes we'll get caught up being in the carnal flesh, right? And that we'll see things not as being spiritual, man. Like, damn, oh, shit, why is this happening to me now? Fuck. Oh, it's spiritual. You got to look at it. It's building you up. It's making you more patient. Right? We got to go through these things, man. Right? And when you go through them, understand what it understand what it's doing. Right? Meditate upon it. Right? And sometimes if you can't understand what's going on or why things are happening, call a brother that you know that uh, uh is more of an elder than you, right? Who 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 you look up to? All right. And have him break it down to you. Like, yeah, this is what it's talking about. All right. Yeah, this is this is what it is. OK, boom, 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 boom. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you be like and you get further uh, uh, understanding. And then next time something like that happens, you'll look at it in the way it's supposed to be, you know, discerned. Right. So this is the point, man. Right. We can't uh, we can't we can't get caught up in all this, man. Right. But I wanted I wanted to further break this down. First Peter chapter four verse twelve. Beloved, think it not strange. So don't think it's strange when some stuff happens to you, man. That's that's what supposed it's supposed to. You're supposed to be vexed here, man. You're not supposed to be comfortable, right? You now, you know, understand. What I'm not saying is that you're not. It's not saying that you won't be able to have any comforts. <clears throat> the heavenly Father, you know, He gives us women, you know, money and. You know, uh, the small comforts that we need so that way we can, can, you know, continue to do the work, man. All right. You know, he, he, the heavenly father, you know, uh, he's, he's, he's still our father, man. He wants us to enjoy certain things and, you know, uh, not just be all the way stressed the hell out. You know, you understand? So the point is, he 
they'll have you go through things, you know, and then after you uh, suffered a little while, right? Matter of fact, let me just get that. All right, after you suffer a while, right? So First Peter chapter five and verse ten, it says, "But the uh, but the God of all grace, right? But the power of all grace, who have called us unto His eternal glory by Yahweh by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai." After you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. So after you suffered a little while, he's going to settle you, man. Right? That's our father. He did that to Job, right? Okay. So that happened to you too. All right? These are a part of the curses, man. All right? In fact, speaking about the curses, let me grab this for y'all. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Cause this is something. This is something I suffer from, man. Like right here, y'all. This, this is, this is. It gets, it gets like this. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-five. It says, "And among these nations shall thou find no ease; neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart, and a falling eyes, and a sorrow of mind." So the part where where I, I suffer from, man, I feel like you know what I'm saying. You know, my my foot, my foot don't have no rest, man. I'm always at the plow, you know, you know, <clears throat> you know, if I'm not at the uh, the carnal plow, right, you know, I'm doing the work of the Heavenly Father, which I enjoy, right? That's not a that's not a burden unto me. But the point is, you know, always having to go to work and you know, make that money, then, you know, you pay the bills and things like that, man. It's just being subjected unto these payments. You know, that shit, that, you know, that stuff can, uh, it can get pretty rough, but, you know, we continue to endure how about some y'all shall make sure you know we always have enough right <clears throat> it says but the lord shall give thee a trembling heart falling eyes and sorrow of mind right so you know sometimes your mind is going to be plagued with heaviness you got to continue to endure that man endure that hardness it says thy life shall hang in doubt before thee and thou shalt fear day and night and thou shalt have no assurance of thy life man so these are the things that we suffer from here man but you know we, we we're, we're looking to uh to have that rest eventually, man. So, you know, that's, you know, we, we have to do what's required of us so that way we can get that rest, right? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief, right? So the point is, man, we got to continue to labor. We got to continue to work. We got to continue to fight for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? So that way we can get that rest, right? You know, because like, like I read earlier in Micah 2 and 10, Rising into part, for this is not your rest, man. It is polluted. It will destroy you, right? So the point is, not here. We're laboring so that way we can enter into the rest. And where is that at? At the kingdom, man, right? So I understand, you know, Esau, he tries to break us down. You know, uh, he tries to wear us out. You know, uh, you know, we get vexed with these, uh, you know, draconian laws, legislative laws that are uh, enforced here, right? The, 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 the pollution, you know, the air, the food and the land and just the minds of these freaking people, man. You know, just the just the buffoonery and the foolishness here, man. I understand that, you know, but let's just keep on fighting so that way we can get that rest, man. And when, when we get that rest, man, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet, man. Like I think it says that in the book of Proverbs somewhere. I just want to, you know, I'm about to end off anyway, but uh. Somewhere in Proverbs, but it basically it just says that when I lay down, y'all, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24. Uh, let me grab that for y'all, and I'm going to end off there, y'all. All right, because we want that rush, right? We're going to get it. Proverbs chapter 3, and verse 24. And it reads, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. When thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Right? So that's the point, man. When we lie down, man. And the kingdom, man, that sweet that sleep is gonna be sweet, man. All white sheets, comfy, comfy, uh, comfy, uh, uh, blanket. You know, uh, the different music in the background. You know, uh, the fresh air coming from the window. Right. You know, just different herbs. You know, uh, the different candles. You know, uh, 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 around us and stuff like that. You know. Smelling like the different herbs in the room, right? Just, just, just. I'm, I'm just talking about just beautiful, beautiful, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sweet, y'all. So this is what we got to look forward to, man. So, 
you know, let's continue to fight and keep pushing, man. So I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham, so you should say Akim and Agwa. Shalom.